Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Unboxing the Geek Authority. I got some new stuff. Boy, did I get some new stuff. I got one, two, three, and I don't have any more hands to pick up number four. So we're going to jump right into it. This is a show where I actually open stuff for the very first time, and you see it, and we see it, and I see it. Well, we all see it for the first time, and it's kind of exciting. We can't wait. Um, let's see if I remember correctly. Yeah, this one. It's got one of those uh, trick seals. Yeah. Grab your scissors. Whenever you open, cut the tape. Ooh, it's cutting really slow. There we go. And I believe this issue we're going to call unboxing games, board games, all kinds of games. Yep. Brand new. This has just hit the market. Um, great for gifts. Great for Christmas, holidays, any kind of uh, event you want to give something fun. It is the game Operation. Remember Operation? Except this one features the child. How cool is that? Um, on the back, you kind of see it's the child. And you can barely see the pieces. And basically what they are is, looks like different, um, different devices. Oh, there's a helmet. There's a Looks like a binoculars. Um, I'm guessing that's a frog. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, you put your uh, parts in there. You've got your little tweezers. Um, by process of, I believe, cards, you um, you get to. Uh, let's. You want to take a look? Let's take a look. Why not? That's what the show is all about. Open it up right in front of you. Lovely plastic. There we go. Mm. Love the smell of a new game. A new anything actually. Okay, we got a, oh, this must be the tray to put all your stuff in, and it's green, it's gonna disappear. Oh, how cute is he? Check it out. There's the board for Baby Yoda, or the Mandalorian, or the child, whatever you wanna call him. And you can see it shows a picture of each of the items. Oh, that's the thermal detonator. Empire, there's the frog. Oh my God, it's all kinds of stuff. Here are the little pieces. They got, I remember when they used to be bigger in operation. Now they're like really teeny tiny and the tweezers are right up here. So got instructions and everything. Wow, can't wait. Who wants to play operation? All right, next one. One of these Amazon packs. And I don't know if you know, just one little lesson in opening boxes besides you know, cutting away from yourself and all that, is Amazon has, has these, these white packages. When you get them, if you push the product, whatever it is, to the bottom, opposite of where this perforation is. Most people don't even know it exists. Um, if you grab the perforation at its very peak and rip, it allows you to just open the package within, you know, one second. Um, oh, I remember this. I, or, I ordered this one. It was on sale. Um, it's got great reviews online. But can you believe it or not, if you love the movie, it's Hocus Pocus, the game. Yes, these are the Sanderson witches, their sisters, and the game is um, based on the uh, film, kind of loosely, but uh, can you see that? Very cool. It's got one of these. Uh, oh, actually, it's got three of them. Let me see how quick I can get them off. Um, but I love the movie, you know, Bette Midler and uh, Kathy and Jimmy and Sarah Jessica Parker. Wonderful concept, wonderful film. It's probably a Halloween favorite for a lot of uh, kids out there and, and the parents who originally saw it uh, showing it to their kids um, but fun movie uh, it's got magic it's got evil it's got you know good triumphs and kids that need help and oh wow so open it up for the first time Ooh, instructions looks like uh, some sort of card describing the sisters Sarah Winifred and Mary and then, oh, wow. Check this out. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. I guess this is the game board. I have no idea how to play it. Um, I'm looking forward to learning how. So maybe we'll do a show when, whenever we're, the Geek Authority's gaming day is back up and running and we can uh, actually do a live uh, uh, playing of this game. That would be fun. So that's Hocus Pocus, Operation Hocus Pocus. What do we got here? Oh, this one's a little heavier. So, um, all right, 
start doing my slits on both sides. One side, another side, and do one slit kind of in the middle so you can get a good tear going. And, ooh, that was one quick. Oh, this is awesome. A lot of positive reviews about this. It was recently just released uh, a few weeks back. And um, again, if you're a Disney fan, this is uh, this is one of the games you should get. Again, have not play it. I'd love to play it um, and let you know how it, how it goes, the mechanics. But it's called Disney's The Haunted Mansion. Now, what's unique about this is I'm trying to find it. Where is it? Uh, okay, let me show you the back. There it is. Um, see the back? Get a nice focus there. It's a game. <clears throat> it looks like it's a game for eight and over, two to six players. Um, and basically, it's from Funko. So you know that means you know what game I love from Funko. It's called Funkoverse. But this is this is nothing to do with Funkoverse. This is its own entity um, itself. So again, I'm pulling off plastic. You and I are going to get to look at the board at least. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Love. Love that new games. And look at this inside the box cover. I wonder if we use this to play. Oh, you know what it is? It's the ceiling in the haunted mansion. When you look up and the room expands, I just realized. Oh, cool. I wonder if you use it in the game. Didn't expect that. Ooh, look at this manual. Very pretty. Very pretty. What I like about when manuals do this, they're very big lettering, writing, so you can actually read it. Um, they describe all the parts and pieces, which is good to make sure you have everything. And then uh, what goes where and whatnot. Um, let's see there. Get a focus. It's kind of glary, I know. Um, okay, that's that game. What is this? Ooh, this is the board. Okay. We want to be careful what you open up. You never know what's going to come up. It's a big board. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Okay, I'm guessing this is the uh, back side. The gameplay side must be this side because it has all the rooms. You can see various rooms the, the dining room, the organ room, the graveyard. Very cool. Okay. Love that smell. Okay, and uh, just to show you quick other pieces, looks like uh, it's like one of the lamps. It's got a number in it. Three, zero. Oh, cool. And then, uh oh, Madame Leota's table. Wait, does it move? There's a circle in the back. Wonder if it sits on. Oh, check it out. How cool. Ooh, floats. And there they are. I wonder if they go in the dark. The three spooky hitchhikers. Grim, grim, and ghosts come out to socialize. Oh, wow. The game pieces. Looks like they're bats. Six different colored bats. I don't know if you can see any of the detail. Very cool. Um, put that one back there. Then it's got, looks like, Tiny little cards and bigger cards and more bigger cards with different different images on them. Very cool. Okay, I can't wait. We gotta play this one. Figure out how to play it and how much fun it is. Okay. Lastly, last game here. Uh, I, this that Haunted Mansion, Disney's Haunted Mansion, is was put up by uh, Funko people. Um, the di design mechanics and stuff are original to that. But there's also my favorite Funko, which is, of course, I just mentioned Funkoverse. And I know this is a new one. New Funkoverse. Yikes. Let me do the other side. Multiple tapes. One, two, do a quick little split in the middle so I can tear away and ta-da, 
Paperwork. Ooh. Puffies. Puffies. More puffies. This one's kind of heavy. <gasps> Here it is, everyone. Continuing the line of uh, wonderful Funkoverse uh, gaming uh, scenarios. This is the latest and greatest. Perfect for Halloween. Perfect for Christmas. Whatever you want to give it for. Thanksgiving. Birthdays. It's Funkoverse strategy game. The Nightmare Before Christmas edition. How cool is that? Yes, there's the doctor. Wait, I'm backwards here. There's the doctor, Sally, there's Jack, and Ookie Boogie. Um, let's see if I can get these off quickly. Got them off the other game pretty quick. I've almost got this down to a science in terms of um, working these things down. Okay, I got it. Yay. Here we go. Nice. Nice new smell. Oh, the dice are kind of spooky. They got little spooky characters on them. The uh, point system uh, in each of the games is a different colored crystal. These happen to be purple in uh, Jack Skellington. I don't know if you can see how purple they are. Um, of course, the game pieces these I'm familiar with. Every game has these. And you've got your uh, stands and specialty. What are the specialty ones? I don't know. I'll have to look. Um, oh, wow. Underneath, they always put underneath the box, they put the, uh, the game boards. So in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, let's see where we go. Opening it up for the first time. I'm great with shrink wrap on most things. Um, pop that open. Get rid of that. Hey, there's more. All right, so Jack Skellington has, looks like, oh, one side is Oogie Boogie, his little lair. Recognize his little pinwheel where Jack gets on it and he's trying to shoot him with stuff and the spiders and all that. The other side is, it looks like Halloween Town. The entire area of Halloween Town, including the fountain, Looks like Jack's house, looks like the mayor's house, the town hall. How cool is that? So if you're not familiar with Funko Bush Purse, you might want to check some of my other games where I kind of talk about it a little bit. But basically, it's a unique environment where the game mechanics are the same. Basically, the only thing that changes is your characters. You can put characters from Golden Girls, Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, Jaws, the DC, the DC World, Batman, Batgirl. There's, there's a bunch of them, I'm sure I'm, I'm missing some, but you can play each of these characters with their unique abilities in any of the environments. So yeah, Oogie Boogie can go to the Golden Girls house or, or uh, um, a T-Rex can go over to uh, visit Harry Potter um, or Jaws, <coughs> Jaws can, excuse me, Jaws can say hello to, um, what else is there, um, you know, Superman's lair. Um, it's kind of fun, it's, it's fun in the sense that your abilities allow you to win the game and gain the points but uh, each one comes with its own book, um, whereby they explain the details of the mechanics of the game, usually first, and then the specifics about this particular game and these particular characters and what they have and, and reminds you how you can interchange them and stuff. It is so cool. Um, while I got it open, the detail that Funko does, like for example, I'm gonna pull out Jack and Sally. They come with the stands, so when you're playing with them, you can see them on the stands. That's uh, Jack and Sally. Check them out. Look at the detail. Very cool. They all have they all have the big heads, so that's kind of the Funko trademark. Um, why not take out? Who knows if you're going to get the game or not? They're in these vacuum form plastic um, forms that they kind of punch in because of their shape. This is the doctor and Oogie Boogie. Oh, gee, guess who disappears? It's Oogie Boogie. He's entirely green, a light green. So there's not much I can do. So just pretend he's, you can kind of see his eyes. See him? Anyway, but that's the doctor, Sally's creator. He's in his, in his wheelchair, I don't know if you can tell. How cool is that? Okay, so that is 
all four, four brand new games, board games. I'm um, going to have some fun playing them. Uh, Michael and I will get to know them, and uh, we'll probably do a show. Or when we go live again, we'll get you to, you, you'll get to see how mechanics, mechanics work and how we play in hooks. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. As usual, uh, please um, subscribe. There's a button somewhere here. Subscribe. I need those subscribers. Uh, hit the bell. Every time I uh, post something, it'll... Uh, send you an email, let you know what I posted. And my other shows, of course, I have um, the uh, uh, Geek Authority's Mysterious Chamber of Collectibles, where I show you all kinds of stuff that I've done. I've talked about where family and friends talk about different subjects, TV shows, movies. I have the Geek Authority show itself, where I get to interview actors, directors, writers, producers, cosplayers, all kinds of fun stuff. That is really interesting. Um, as well as I have a commentary show. So uh, where I talk about uh, my opinions on different TV shows and series and things like that. So hopefully you'll watch those as well. Please uh, subscribe, please share, please tell your friends. Love having you watching. Any questions or comments, put them below. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.